Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and in this class we are going to understand the term in quest. Okay, so this term in quest includes in forensic medicine and in forensic legal forensics as well. So in India we have majorly two types of in quest. First we have police in quest and the other one we have is magistrate in quest. Okay, so in all over the world we have three types of inquest police inquest magistrate inquest and the other one is coroner's inquest coroner's inquest but in india we do not follow coroner's inquest so at the time of british raj there were some cases of coroner inquest but after some time it was abolished i guess but now we have only two types of inquest police inquest and magistrate inquest so before jumping into police inquest and magistrate inquest we have to understand the concept of inquest okay so we can say that concept of inquest we can say inquest is an inquiry so you can replace this word inquest to inquiry okay this is nothing but inquiry or you can say investigation into the cause of death because we need to understand the real cause of death right so to understand real cause of death police will launch an inquest or an investigation and in some special cases magistrate will launch the investigation so we will understand further what magistrate inquest is and what police inquest is but here in india there are only two authorities which launches the inquest one is police and the other one is magistrate okay so inquest is inquiry or any investigation to understand the real cause of death and it is conducted in the case of suicide it is conducted in the case of murders it is conducted in the case of any animal which is killed by any machinery so it could be accident or it can be a like homicide okay so suicide murders killing of animal or human or accident with the help of some machinery or uh, we can say weapons death due to torture so if someone is just planning to torture and some torture someone okay so if i am planning that i have one hostage and i will torture him or her but in that course of torture that person loses his or her life that the inquest will be launched on that particular case and if in case of ill treatment if the person loses his life or her life and in some occupational diseases so what does that mean occupational diseases so for example if someone is working in hat factory okay so i am a worker and i work in the manufacturing or in manufacturing department of hat and there is a like huge exposure to mercury okay because it's there in mercury in mercury poisons we even call it mad hatter disease and this mad hatter disease people catch when they work in uh, places where there is a lot of mercury around okay so that is a type of occupational disease so i am in an occupation which uses some type of chemicals or which uses some type of circumstances because of that particular circumstances i'm catching some disease or i'm catching some illness so that will be come like that will come under this as well so the inquest will be launched in that particular case as well because we will we have to focus there and we have to fix if that particular death is because of that disease or it is like if there is any foul play then we can even disclose that in the course of inquest then we have suspected medical negligence so for example you have admitted someone in the hospital and that person dies so if you feel like that person is dead because of negligence okay so you can even um, request an inquest and there will be an inquest officially then we have in suspicion in suspicious death or if i think that the cause of death is unnatural okay so in many cases in many cases of poisoning people try to poison someone and they want to get away with this so they will try to give the poison in small doses so that particular death end up into heart failure or respiratory failure so that they can paint themselves okay and no no one can focus on them that they could be the murderers or they are the person who is involved behind this unnatural type of type of death and sometimes people do 
misinterpret the symptoms to natural causes so if one if someone is having sus some suspicion on some uh, like natural death which seems unnatural then there will be an inquest death due to anesthesia so anesthesia is a particular chemical which is given to a patient if there is some um, operational things which is going to be done and in other operation or unidentified if unidentified body is recovered or some skeletonized bodies are recovered then there will be like it must have the inquest before closing that case or before um, going to the criminal justice system okay so as i said that we have two types of inquest one is police inquest and the other one is magistrate inquest and these types of inquests they do have particular type of sections from crpc so crpc is criminal procedure code and these particular sections handle police inquest and magistrate inquest now we have few features of inquest before going to police or magistrate the inquest report is made primarily to look into the cases of unnatural deaths in the case of unnatural death or circumstances have to be examined so all circumstances have to be in like examined or identified or investigated before making the inquest report so after inquest we make in, we make a particular inquest report as well the state owes a duty to the citizens so it is the duty of state or you can say our government they owes the duty of duty to citizens to ensure their health and life right it's their duty and that's why it is really very important to investigate and to understand the real causes of death when a crime is committed it is committed against the state so in many cases you might have seen like uh, for example let's say if someone is ram kumar for example okay i am not like focusing to anyone this is just an imaginary person for me so ram kumar have committed a murder so for example in let's say for example in x y z state the case will be ram kumar versus that particular x y z state for example ram kumar versus bihar ram kumar versus uttar pradesh ram kumar versus himachal like that okay so that particular crime is against the state not against the victim of course victim is the person who is going to suffer or that party is sufferer but the case will be like ram kumar versus that particular state because that particular crime is against that state in the circumstances of unnatural death it is the duty of state okay to ascertain the cause of death and according to like according to that according to the like measures of that particular state we have to like investigate that particular crime which is against the state this is the purpose of an inquest report to establish fact that can be used to apprehend and uh, and punish the offender so why inquest report is really very important because this report contains some important data which can be evidence right so that's why it is really very important to conduct an inquest and to make a report of it right so it's it's really very important if you are conducting inquest there must be a report and why we make report because it can be an important evidence in trials okay to establish that's why we are making the report to establish the particular facts you have observed from the crime scene or from that particular like case you can say hmm? so that's why forensic inquest report is important okay now we have police inquest so in that class we are going to understand the concept of inquest only in next class we will understand police inquest and it do comes under section 174 of criminal procedure code that is crpc and we will understand that particular topic in the next part of this one and this will be part 1 and then part 2 police inquest and then part 3 magistrate inquest okay so i hope this lecture is helpful to you and you are done with this topic in quest if you have any question query or anything you can ask to us that's it for today's class everyone thank you so much for watching this class have a great day ahead take care of yourself and see you guys in the next class till then take care bye